Doctor Sahab, you know, I don't know, it's, it's with me like, I have met a lot of doctors and I don't know if they have a hidden artist with them. And, but I feel the poetry, the art, that's something you, that's, it's, that's, that comes through suffering, through feeling, through, through passing through a very, I would, I, I don't know, I don't have the right word to use it for it, but I'm sure there is something which, which, which just part that hidden artist inside you. So do you want to share something with that? Well, I obviously grew up in a very poor country. I saw so many people in misery all around me. And then when I joined the medical school, I saw that misery even from much closer distance than I ever had experienced. Actually, that was the beginning of my writings. All those people suffering in many different ways, it hurt me. And I started writing poems, I started writing small, I mean, short stories. Then, as time passed, there were other motives which were involved in my continuing of the writings. I'm a very sensitive person. Anything that happens around me, it affects me. And that is the best way for me to reflect it by writings, particularly by poetry, whatever language I may use depending upon the circumstances. There was a time, certainly, when I was in a romantic stage of life, soon or somewhat before marriage, a year when I was engaged. I wrote quite a bit then and then continued. And that was no question, just the romantic poetry. And I dedicated all that to my wife about whom basically I wrote. Then in year 2001, when my father died, who was my ideal, I went to, back to Pakistan to say final goodbye to him. And the University of Agriculture set up a very special gathering. There were more than thousand people in that one special condolence meeting. And I knew father was great. But then I realized he was one of the greatest that the country ever could produce. A man who set records which are still there, the man who got gold medal for anything or everything that he did, a man who worked hard so much that it's, we could not beat him even when he was old. So I started asking myself that we are all given one chance in life, one lifetime. How did he achieve all that that he did? Which is 10 big textbooks, scientific, 200 scientific research articles, and all these discoveries. And he was so good to so many people. How did he do that? While I was there for that condolence, I wrote 16 poems in those two, three days, eight in English and eight in Urdu. And after that, I never stopped writing. Primarily, my writings have been in English poetry. I have written since then 5,000 poems in English. And I still feel I have not answered that one question. How did he do it? Sir, you're a great asset in I don't know what's the right word to say for you. We want to see your experience your your feelings for a future generation for people like me to follow, to learn, to inspire. We think something to to share with us sitting miles, thousands of miles away. Well people have been asking me to put my writings in some sort of available and readable shape. I have been in many ways postponing it. Sometimes I think, if I do that, it would be bragging it. 
and that discourages me from doing it. But more and more with my gray hair and acceptance, acceptance of the final reality of life, which is there is nothing final than death. So at times I think I will be doing injustice to next generations if I don't pass along some of the lessons that I learned from my life. So yes, in the future I will be paying more attention to putting together things which can be helpful and useful for people. If I can just say one thing in, to summarize for the next generation, it would be do things for the sake of goodness, not for any reward. And always keep in mind that you should not expect from others, but keep asking yourself, are you doing things for others? Are you helping others? Are you making a positive difference, however little it may be? Um, I have a lot to ask from you, but we'll have a short break and then we'll continue. Okay. Yeah, sure. It was wonderful, wonderful. Okay.